Hi folks, Kane the Vape and he back again with another review and today we are looking at the Claymore RDA by Yacht Vape. Yeah, so we're going to do that right now. Check it out. Ooh. Hi folks, Kevin the Vipen here back again with another review. Yes, we have a product review. Yes, you must be saying about time. I know about time. Today we are looking at the Claymore RDA by Yacht Vape. And um, what we're we'll gonna do is the usual, we're gonna dive on down the table, have a look about, do a build on it, wake it up, come back up, give me final thoughts. But before I do that, please, please like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff with the video. Um and for Forgive my rudeness, but I hope you're all doing mighty fine for this. So, with that being said, let's nip down the table. Yeah. Right, boys and girls, here we are down at the table with the Claymore 22mm RDA by Yacht Vape. Um, it is Yacht Vape, isn't it? I believe it is. Yeah, Yacht Vape. So, that's the top of your box there. You've got all the, that picture, it's like a sleeve. On the side, you've got your, your social media stuff. On the end, you've got Yod Vape. On there, obviously, you've got Claymore. On the end, you've got like Yod Vape. On the back of the box is the contents. So, if you want to do a little freeze frame and have a look at that, you can do. Um, and there we have it. So, what you do is you slide this fella off here, put him out of the way, lift off the lid. And you're presented with what looks like a very nice little box. It's quite well packaged actually for what it is. It's really stylish with like a, a coppery type frame with a bit of card. You obviously you've got the RG in, but what happens here is you lift up this fella. This fella actually comes off. You have a little box here, which is basically a peripheral box. You have the destruction leaflet, which you know, it gives you the the general gist of it. It's multilingual. Um, it's not a big, massive booklet, so you know that isn't too bad. And then just move that to the side for the moment, because in your little spares box here, you do get you get a spare drip dip. You also get a coil and some cotton. Give my pet here with this is the don't tell you what that is made of, what material, or you know, it, it, it's one of my pet hates with that because you know, if you've got somebody who's got an allergy to, to nickel or NI 80 whatever coils and they don't know what that is, you know, they've got a risk of uh, having a reaction. And then finally, you have your spares bag. We have an Allen key, a screwdriver, o rings, spare post screws, and we have a squonk pin. Um, I'm thinking of trying to squat and give you a bunch of we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, we'll, that, that's another story. And then now it comes to the start of the show. Now, what you have, I shall try and zoom us in a touch here, guys, so you can see what the hell's going on here. Where we're, there, we're going to in there. Is that kind of close enough? I'd like to think so, yeah. Right, and there you have it. This is your Claymore RDA. You have this beauty ring on the bottom because it is a 22 milli RDA, but with the beauty ring on here, which is very nicely done, Claymore takes up a 24, which is very nice. The RDA itself, top cap, airflow, it's locked, so it goes that way, locks, goes that way, locks, that doesn't come off, but your body. On the bottom here, you've got your usual stuff, Claymore. A bit steamed up, and this off of bloody cold hands and cold thing of me warm hands, but there you go. It's a bit steamed up there, but there you go, you've got Claymore, your CA marks, all that lovely stuff. I've got serial number, bloody hell, 3485. So it's been quite popular. And notice that your pin there, that is hybrid safe, because you can see that 510 pin is sticking well above that. Uh, Earth thread there, so it is hybrid safe for your mechanical mods. Um, 
I'll just get something to put it on now, just so I can pull the top off. We shall use our Dilly Graph, Steve Dilly Graph. Addy stand, the piston one we have. Screw that on. Basically, you pull that off. And there you have your deck. Absolutely brilliant, that. Very simple. Bear with, I'll just get something there. Have a bit of a point with because, as per usual, I am ill prepared, like always. Um, oh, 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 oh. Let me use that there one. Right. So, what you have here is you have two terminals of positive, two terminals of negative. So, it doesn't matter which way you wrap your coils, whether clockwise or anti clockwise, they will go in there just nicely. They just sit under your know, little ledge there just under here a nice little lip there to tuck it under so it doesn't kick out this is your airflow channel here which comes down underneath here and as you can see it, it pops through there that's your airflow and obviously when we look into the chimney which is black and which can be a pain in the arse but you can see there's a little notch there and a little notch on the other side there which obviously lines up with your airflows here um, the chimney is domed, it's very nice. And basically, guys, you know, there's not much else to it. I mean, nice deep juice wells. It's got a nice lifted edge here for your squonk when you go in, so it will like flow over and fill up your juice wells. Um, so, yeah, guys, not much else to it, really. It's very, very simple deck. Um, on the plunder side of things, you want to go in more detail, usually like your um, 10 drip tips. Just that, and also this ring kind of does slip off. I think it does, or comes apart. If bear with us, hang on, there you go. That comes off as well. And there is a reason behind this, which I will explain very soon, but it does come apart like so. Um, so what we'll do, you know, you've got all your bits there your beauty ring, your barrel, the top, and obviously everything there. So, what we'll do now is we'll how you build on, um, then we'll see where we're going from there. Yeah. Right guys, here we are back down on the table again. I'm going to put a build in this and today I'm going to use one of all made coils as coils here. He's on Facebook, check him out, there's some cracking handmade coils. And I'm going to use an NI80 Alien 27 gauge 36.6, 36 wrap. 0.15 that's dual so single it should you know hopefully double that get this fella out see it's a it is a really really nice coil absolutely lovely three millimeter di in a diameter is what we're going for so what we're going to do now is just get my legs kind of the what was it weird type of thing so they're kind of like that, just bend your legs like that. What we shall do, we'll undo the screws, which I think will be this one. Whoop, yeah, bugger. Wasn't on very tight, that was it. Duh. We'll do this fella here. And undo this fella here. Two screws undone. Just put your coil in like that and like that. Just tuck them in like so. Get them roughly where you want them. Yeah, I mean, they can get them over there. Get roughly where you want them. Sorry if my hands are going to be in the way, people, but I just give them an, an initial nip to start with just to get them in. So I'll make sure I've got a bite on them. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Now just a nice tighten. Have to really crank it down, you know, just a nice nip will do the job there. Get in position nicely in the middle. Now, the height I've kind of been, I don't think you can see, you can see the air holes. Just hang on, we'll, we'll have a zoom here, we'll have a zoom, we'll have a zoom, I'll have a zoom here so you can see what we're doing. So if you can see through the air holes there. Oh, I'm just blown out a bit, I'm on. 
just bring them back a touch. There. You can see through the air holes there. I'm going to put my coil so you can just see them coming down. So I'm going to drop them down. I'm just going to drop them down. So I think that there. You can see that there now. I've got there, you can just see the, about the bottom half of your coil. That's kind of where I've had my height, and it's been pretty damn good. If we zoom back out a touch, I'm pretty happy with that height. Uh, maybe he's, uh, I think he's okay there, but we'll probably bring him down just a touch more. Yeah, I'm happy with that, right? So, we've got that sorted. We we'll now get the snips, trim it up again as close as you can. Hang on a minute, I'm dropping it now. Trim it down as close as you can to it. Try and keep your hands, don't make sure you drop them on the floor or anything because you will. It will hurt when you stand on them. Again, that's it. That's them all nicely trimmed down. So I've got my metal end over there. And that, boys and girls, is pretty much it coiled. It's just, you know, that is it. You know, if you can see, you know, absolute piece of cake. Now I've got that sitting about there. Yes, it's just we're halfway under that. You know, you can see half me coil through that air hole. So we'll put on a mod now. Lift this off here. One I've got handy is the, the Ultrona girly thing, whatever it is. Now I'll work this on here. Give it some light. Ooh, we fire it up at that hot height. No, 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 not that hot. Not going to fire it at that hot. What about? I know for 44 wattish. Right, so now it's just a case of burning this fella in. Just gently pulse it. Just let it go through all the, the rainbow of colours. Just keep gentle pulses. A couple of hot spots there, give it a strum. Again, just gentle pulses. And that, boys and girls, is pretty much it. Absolutely delightful. So, we can again wick in this thing. I'll let it cool down. <sighs> Have a mouthful of tea while we we'll let it cool down. And um, wicking is a double. Mm, yum, 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 case of putting your wick through. Yeah, that cooled down pretty quick. I mustn't have fired in a very high water, but there you go. I've just got a bit of cotton bacon handy for the time being, just to, for the sake of the review, just to get it wicked up nice and easy. And just pull it through to get it nice and tight. Which I'll just can all the way down mean and just back it off. There you go. Roughly, you want to be cutting it roughly the same, you know, Scissors up against the edge of the deck, that's kind of where I've been kind of thinking, maybe past just a touch, you know, but roughly there. Oh, these scissors could do with sharpener, but never mind. Uh, again, just give it very light, yeah, light, very light comb out. Same with this side, very light comb out. Doesn't need much. I mean, just just does not need much at all. Get rid of that. Get it nice and fluffy. Again, guys, are just kids just pushing it back towards the coil and just letting it drop itself in. And there you go. Just drops in itself just nicely. See me on this side. Drop this back in like so. Just tidy it up a bit. And nicely spread out to fill all that juice well up. And that people is basically it. Absolutely it. I'm gonna put some gaffer, oops sorry, 
put some gaffa raspberry custard on this. And just drop it on. Little pulses just to get it to, to soak in there. Get the wick nice and moist. Lovely jubbly. That coil is just sucking that juice in. Lovely. There you go, we have vapor. And there you go, guys. So, what I'll do is whip that back off there. And I'll put this fella. We'll see if we align this fella up with the, the air holes, like so. Sometimes you can just turn it and lock it down, you'll feel it go down. Whip that off. Chuck your booty ring on. Wherever he may be. Whip him back on. Can be a bit OCD like me and get your, your beauty ring pointed to the front. And there you have it, guys. The Claymore RTA coiled, whipped, and ready to go. See you back up top and we'll give it a toot. Yeah. Right, folks, here we are back up top with the Claymore RGA. I've got just a tiny, it's tiny, but the same size as a wasp. Nano wasp, it's, that's what it's kind of like size wise. Um, on top of the girl, the girl, the girl from the Ultrona, you know what I mean, the mod. Um, the coil has come out at 0.29, which I thought it would, you know, for a single coil because it was 0.15 joule. Um, vaping it at 60 watts. I have got some of this gaffer vape strawberry custard in. Not raspberry custard, my god, can you not read, Ken? I'm cracking up my old age. Um, so let's just give it a gun, eh? Stop babbling, just give it a gun. Air 4 fully open, let's go. For a little RD, it pumps a bit of cloud out, like I'll give it that. But, oh. First thing you notice is the flavour off this, people. Jesus! Oh, oh, oh. Very nice. Oldie cup again, thank you. Mm. That's got to be the first thing you mention it. The flavour off this is absolutely stunning. Just feels like you're drinking it out of the bottle. It is fantastic. But, you know, with the top airflow going down, coming up under the bottoms, very small dome chambers and this has got I forgot to mention this is the A10 drip tip not your 510 so it's a smaller drip tip or a more condensed vape so you're gonna get flavour off it and by god it's good mm. absolutely stunning that is a, obviously a good point what I did forget to mention down the table, or what I kind of touched on down the table, is you can get um, accessories uh, for it where you can change the colour of the appearance of it. What well, basically what you get in is you get a, a, a drip tip and you get this black bit, which is the, the chamber bit, in, dif in co different colours. Um, so they match up. I mean, I'll pop them up on the screen round about now so we can see what they're like. I mean, I never purchased them. Um, but you know, if you any of you guys who like the matchy matchy with your mods and stuff, this these you know these are where you get, you get all these colours here that's shown, um, as well as the standards. Um, it just gives you a bit of choice, and it is what it is. Personally, for me, they're not my cup of tea. Um, they look plasticky and they look a bit tacky. I think um, you know, a bit cheap and tacky, so. I'm quite happy to stick with the standard, but you know, the choice is there. Um, it is a positive, I suppose, you know, like I say, for people who want to do the old matchy matchy with the mods, we've got a blue mod, you can get the blue glass kit and it would match lovely. So there's that kind of thing, but for me, I'm just happy with what I've got. Um, obviously, like I've said, flavour is stunning on this. Airflow 
it's it's a restrictive director lung I would say it was definitely it's a bit, definitely a bit of a tight tight draw. That's fully open. I mean if I turn this down about halfway, if you can see it with all the smoke. Flavour is more concentrated and a bit better, but um, it does make a weird little noise. It's a little bit loud, but that's probably obviously because the airflow is going down the channels. But the flavour, it's worth the sacrifice for the flavour alone. Mm. I mean, the only uh, other thing I can think of, a possible, a possible negative, I don't know if it's going to be like that, but see this one here is the black, so it's like a a black, you know, like a, it is a plasticky thing, but it doesn't look plastic, you know. But if you had the full stainless one or the full silver one, that's full metal, that might get a little bit warm when you vape on it, so it may be worth um, putting one of your own drip tips on just with a little bit more length on it, you know, so if you touch your lips, you're not, you're not getting burnt. Um, there is another drip tip in the box. Um, but the bore on that is a little bit smaller, I would say, so for a more tighter draw, perhaps. Um, some people say it's mouth to lung, but I don't think you're getting a mouth to lung off this. Um, it's, 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 it's a very tight, direct lung, this. Um, you would have to literally nail on close it off to get a mouth to lung off this, which, you know, wouldn't benefit from it at all. Well, the downside is it's drippy mode. You know, it's um, it's probably more for squonking. Um, I would like to think because obviously when you drip it, you know, you, you you see the size of the hole. I mean, you know, you may have to take this off to actually paint your coil for a, for a decent drip. You know, so that could be a downside for when if you're dripping it. Um, like I say, your best bet is just to to pull the whole thing off like so. I've timed that nicely because as you can see that cotton is starting to go dry. So again you just just paint your coils. And this could be a bit of a pain in the arse if you if you if you drip it. So I have tried it in skunk mode and I would say it probably shines a bit better than in skunk mode if you don't want to fanny on like dripping like this. Because obviously you've got to get this back in between your beauty ring now. And you've got to turn it until it drops down. There you go, like that on the airflow. It's doable, but it can be a pain in the butt. But um, squonkin's probably where this would probably shine a bit better in my eyes. Like, but all in all, guys, whew. I think some of the sacrifices are worth making just for the flavour of this. It's absolutely immense the flavour of this. You know, I'm getting everything out of that juice absolutely stunning but yeah guys that's it and i mean it is oh sorry it's not it is pretty cheap i think i paid um about 22 english pounds for that um so it's cheap as chips as well so you know if you like your drippers and you like you know your flavors because this is definitely aimed at the flavor flavor chaser so it's definitely aimed, i mean it does it does kick off a bit of, of a cloud like yeah But for me, it's for you, flavour chasers. Definitely, definitely. So if you like your flavours, you know, all your RDAs and your tanks that are made for flavour, this one is worth getting for the collection. So before I fucking start drooling out with this, I suppose, um, I can't think of anything else negative with it. You know, the, the, the negative points I've said, you know, they're just down with the individual, you know. Um, but I reckon it's worth putting up with just for the flavour alone. So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Um, again, thank you, thank you very much for giving me your time and company for this review. Much appreciated. Um, again, if you like what you see, please hit that sub button, like, share, leave a comment. Always, always a pleasure to hear from you guys. So, I'll leave it that now, guys. I've been Kenny, the Vapid Heat. Stay safe, vape safe, 
I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Cheers now. Bye.